Hey, oh, <laughs> welcome everybody. Happy to see you. Today I'm going to be doing a guitar composition, pure guitar, literally nothing else, no drums, no synths, no bass, one guitar layered over and over and over again. <laughs> Haven't done it in years, honestly. I love to do it though, it's always a blast. Being able to play things that you actually can't play on one guitar, doing the layering thing. I have a song many years ago that I wrote called White Walk. It's on my SoundCloud that was done in this fashion. Otherwise, I've just done kind of experiments here and there with it or put a little bit of it in a song now and then. But today we're going to fully do it. And you're going to see the whole composition process or a part of it because I doubt I'm going to get the whole thing done, but we'll see. I hope everybody's doing super well. I'm just going to say hello to everybody who's here. Hello to baby DJ. M. Alexander, Sheva Poe, Frederick, Stephen, Linz, Linz, I haven't seen you in a while, Goose, Stranger, Stranger was here, wasn't Stranger? Oh, no, no, this is Sheva Poe, yeah. Okay, good to see you all. Hope you're doing well. So, I have this guy now. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a Fender Acoustasonic in the Tele style, Telecaster style. I had never really heard of these guitars before because I don't really look at guitars that often these days because I don't want to spend tons of money. Um, and then I was surprised to see this. So this is like a, this is like an electric guitar in most ways other than it has acoustic strings and a tiny little sound hole little baby sound hole and it has um this selector which we're going to go through in a minute which allows for a variety of sounds normally if you're a guitar player you know you've got volume tone and pickup selection but this you know has only got a seemingly a bridge pickup but there's other stuff going on too. This is not a tone knob. This is a blend knob. It blends between two different sounds, uh, which we'll talk about in just a sec when I plug it in. So yeah, I'm gonna write with this today exclusively uh, just to test it out and see what I can do. Will you record over the cable or microphone to collect acoustic sounds? I'm gonna do it just over the cable because um, the acoustic sounds sound fine. It sounds like a thin acoustic, which you will hear when I play it in just a second coming through this mic. But I really want to test out how acoustic-like can it be, can it sound, uh, plugged in. It actually sounds quite good. I'm, <laughs> I hate the sound of electric acoustic guitars. I hate it. <laughs> the piezo scratchy thing. Yeah, if you're a guitar player, you know. Just yesterday, I watched a video of Al Di Maiola playing with Matteo Mancuso. Mancusco? I forget his last name. And they were both playing um, nylon guitars, but they were plugged in. They're incredibly good players, but it sounds like garbage because it's this scratchy... <laughs> Every note they play has this it's disgusting sound. I can't stand it. Anyway, this one uh, sounds quite good, honestly. It's got a little bit of the sound. Of course, it's still a piezo thing, but uh, it actually sounds quite good. So I'm going to try to to play everything on this and then um, maybe try to clean up that sound a bit too. We'll see if I can do it. I don't know. We'll just give it a try. I have my camera like this still. My plan here is to compose this whole song today, well, part of it anyway, eventually then learn to play all the parts all the way through, and then I'm going to film myself playing the whole song, um, playing the whole song all the way through, and then make a little music video demo, you could say, of, of the guitar. So this is just a writing process today. I'm not really mixing or anything. I'm going to try to just get all the parts down and then learn to play the song and then re-record it, me playing the whole thing through with the camera moved, filmed, and so on. Hey, David. 
I do like the idea of your acoustic music. This is not a challenge, of course. Well, we will have an acoustic music challenge soon. This is just me playing acoustic music. Um, you saw them when they were released and thought it was in between a, a meme guitar and some fancy hollow body. Yeah, maybe you'll buy one. How much are they? This is the player model, as they say. Player, not the Americans. So this is Mexican made. The price, I can't remember, 1500 or something. Um, I actually received this guitar, though I received it for reasons completely unrelated to uh, what I'm doing today. There's nothing in me receiving it that said, make a video on it or, or tell us you like it or, or anything. I just have it, so I'm going to use it and uh, try something with it today and see. Hey, stranger. You just got an electric oud for a while. It was awful. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. Does this guitar have a classic soundboard or is it closer to an electric guitar? How do you mean a classic soundboard? I'm not very knowledgeable <laughs> about guitars despite having played them for untold eons. Uh, the tech side of things and how they're built and how to do anything is not like a, th it's not really a thing for me. Okay, here we go. So you have this kind of like little small view. Maybe I'll even make this bigger today just because, you know, like this or something. I don't know. You tell me if that's any good. Um, yeah. And hey, Chris, nice to see you. I'm going to play with, with, do, I don't know if you guys know these picks. Okay, well, I tried to do this once before, right? And it's clear, and so it doesn't actually like pick up on anything. Yeah, anyway, I'm holding a pick here. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And you see it's got these frosted edges on it. Frosted edges for acoustic playing. I don't know about electric acoustic playing, but for acoustic playing, sound amazing for my ear. They go <laughs> with every little thing. So, I'm a fan. All right, let's actually do something. Move something, move something. Anybody, Talib Quelly, high tech, Reflection Eternal fan, anybody know about that? Perfect to lose after one session, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I should have tuned before the stream, hey? I mean the construction is it made of thin wood is a thick board uh yeah it's only a little resonant space it's very much like an electric guitar very much like an electric guitar hey shankara here's something i didn't know about guitars uh until a few years ago which probably will seem unbelievable to the guitar players here, which is that when tuning with regular tuners, you want your last tuning motion to be upwards into the note. I feel like probably every guitar player on the planet knew that, except for me, despite teaching the instrument for like 17 years, and just literally never heard that before. And then I heard the other day that if you have locking tuners, you want to tune down into the note. <laughs> and I do have locking tuners on several guitars. And so I started being like, oh, I got to tune up into the note every time. <laughs> nope, not on those ones. You tune down into the note. Okay, sure. Well, I still managed to make it work. <sighs> these are these are metal. It's like steel string acoustic string guitars on uh, guitars. <laughs> steel string guitars on this guitar. Steel strings from an acoustic on this hybrid, whatever you call it, guitar that's here. I did have the guitar set up, though um, the action's still quite high, and being it's has an acoustic bridge. Uh, you can't individually adjust action, so I think I need to actually go in, maybe Goose can tell me, go in here and you loosen this and there's a there's a bolt of some sort in here that you can adjust and it adjust the tilt of the neck angle. And you can tilt the neck down slightly to get better 
uh, even action across the board and then come back up and re-intonate it. So I'm going to have to do that. Uh, so this action is a bit high today and as such the intonation might be a bit off, which is really a pet peeve of mine. But, you know, here we go. So, um... I don't know if that comes across at all, but that's, you know, the acoustic sound. It sounds like a thin, really thin acoustic guitar when it's played normally, because that's exactly what it is. So, I hate wearing headphones when I, when I record guitars just because of the cable management. But, such is life. There is a truss rod, yep. It's already been adjusted, I've dealt with it, and then the guy at the shop also dealt with it. Um, okay, so, I'm gonna, hey Chris, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna turn off my vocal mic and I'm gonna play through some of the settings. So, just to, talk about it quickly so you understand what I'm going to do here. Uh, the first is that when I have it in the what would normally be the neck pickup all the way forward on the switch, it's in this acoustic piezo emulation mode. And then this blend knob will blend between two acoustic sounds. One is a full-size dreadnought when it's all the way forward, I believe, which is quite bassy and full-bodied. And then one is like a parlor size guitar, I believe, when you twist this all the way back and it gets a bit thinner. Uh, I'm not recording through an amp. I'm just gonna record everything clean. I'm not even going through my pedal board. I'm just literally straight into my interface and that's it. So uh, I'll just be quiet for a second and I'll play you these two sounds and you can hear what I mean. So here comes the dreadnought sound. So yeah, that was the dreadnought going to the parlor sound. Sounds pretty good. I actually can't hear it very well because uh, I'm hearing the direct sound of the guitar in the room and it's louder than my headphones, so it's hard to actually tell what I'm hearing. Uh, also, I think I can probably bring up my input a little bit. if this is too loud in my vocal mic like does it is it I don't know what to say annoying <laughs> when I play because you're getting it through both mics so I'm gonna have to figure out how to deal with that Push the sponge into the hole so that the acoustic sound does not resonate because the microphone probably collects it too. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's the main uh, two acoustic type sounds. And then the next is these lo-fi. Where's my, where's my air quotes? These lo-fi sounds. <laughs> the first lo-fi sound is this like real grungy, I think if I've got a set right here. Oh, still too quiet to even like hear in my headphones. Let me see. Yeah, I hope to do that today. This is like almost got like a fuzz on it. I'll turn off my vocal mic so you can hear better. So you see this other one, this other lo-fi sound is like a brittle, very piezo-y kind of tone, uh, in my opinion anyway. Not really a favorite of mine. Get that real scratchy thing I was talking about at the beginning. Every time you change notes. settings are two electric settings uh, from the pickup noiseless fender noiseless something or other and uh, yeah so So that one sort of breaks up, and then uh, this one. So I'm going to try to use mostly the acoustic sounds today. Maybe we'll find some, some use for the other ones too. I don't know. Hey, Guitar Tommy, welcome. So um, I'm going to start actually writing music now. And um, I'm going to start with this dreadnought sound. My kind of plan was to have dreadnought bassy thing in the middle. Tell me cameras here. And then uh, two parlor type guitars on the sides and then perhaps we'll get into a bridge or something that has the lo-fi fuzzy thing and then we'll see um so in terms of uh, thought process for doing the composition today i'll probably write in 
in keys that have a lot of open strings because that's what guitars are good for, right? Open strings. It's like one of the unique things about a guitar that other instruments like a piano don't have uh, is that you can take advantage of that. In fact, I was playing with some great voicings. I don't know how many people are guitar players here today, but probably a number of you. I don't know if any of you have studied chord scales before, where you take a chord voicing and just move it up the neck in terms of like every note of the chord. Every note of the chord walks up the scale simultaneously, um, which is essentially just like playing a that sort of thing, walking up uh, the chords of the key. But you can do these chord scales where you do them over a you do them over a pedal tone, so you can like leave the E ringing, and then, um, for instance, a really basic one would be just to take an E major shape, so that's the idea. Then uh, you can you can get better sounds by adding in open strings because the open strings will stay static like their own kind of little pedal tones. And you end up with many interesting interactions. See that intonation's not so great up there. Um, but if you come up with more interesting uh, voicings, you can move those up as well. So if you take a add nine voicing like this one, move everybody up. major scale right now. Of course you can do this with modes too and you get all sorts of different sounds. But I was playing with a different one the other day which is one of my favorite voicings, major 7 sus2, which I was playing in this sort of voicing. Oh, what do you say about that chord? Come on. And then moving this guy up. sound there is just so good and that's because you get a a second a major second in there in every chord no matter what because it's in the voicing so when you move them up you get this motion of always getting some kind of second in every voicing which of course that's how you profit get seconds in your chords okay uh it's time to write music so let's write something in e i'm just gonna probably mess around for a bit and see what happens and pick something to start with. In fact, Let's use that. So we'll start with this one. find another one um,
Oh my God. Yeah, but that's what we'll do. So that's like the major seven sus thing going up to some other uh, add 11 type situation, dropping it to minor, dropping it to this, implying a five chord and then back again. So the idea is we're gonna do that. Vroom, and we're gonna have the two side guitars do some harmonized like from dwee do do what was I thinking? Do dwee da do 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 dwee da do 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 we do 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 like harmonized while this thing is ringing out. So let's give it a shot. So my tempo. Try to play to the click today in case I want to do something with this song later, like remix it or whatever. Um, but playing guitar to, the, to a straight click is always not any fun. So. Go straight to that. Okay, let's get rid of this. Go. No, let's get rid of that. Let's do. Ah, that's too hard to play. From here. just go out. I can hear my my uh, UPS power supply beeping at me, which usually means the power is out. <laughs> I don't know. Let me just see. Why are you beeping? Hey, Don. No. No, it's happy again. <laughs> okay. Let's record that. So. Let's just try something. Oops. Oh, 
Okay, so now the second guitar is going to be played with the other model. So I'm just going to loop this first thing and just try something. Um, Chandon, this is just the composing process. I'm actually going to learn to play all of this over again and then I'm going to re-record it all in one take while filming it. That's the plan anyway. to the next chord. <clears throat> what do you do about the very first part of the chord being slight for the first bar? What, in terms of looping? I mean, in terms of the actual song, of course you want that. In terms of looping, it's just an artifact of the loop. But if you're going to try to copy and paste this loop, you need to copy it. Um, you need to basically cut off this last quarter note or 16th and loop it from the previous quarter note or 16th and fade fade them. I'll probably have to do that here at some point, you'll see. So. Thank you. 
Okay, I'll try to just get that down first just to get it off my plate. Um, here we go. quietly um that's fine i like this actually let's get this part down too so and then we'll look for this one record the vocals with the guitar. <laughs> Thank you. 
ish. Okay, so then, now the question is, is that the melody or is that the harmony? That's quite, quite melody sounding to me, so. So, um, Okay, so something like that. Let's just loop it a bit. Your lovely playing goes well with the piano hubbub of hummingbirds and froggos. The windows open, so you're playing for the garden. Mm, that's wonderful. I think he's still there. He's been to say the appeal of the egg tent. Piano cat, I missed him. <laughs> Welcome to new subscriber if you're here. Say hello if you're here. Um, here we go. Let's just listen to this. Here. And then it's... 
enough for the current challenge are we allowed to change the key because the original sketch should be recognizable yeah I, I was thinking about that you, I don't know you can probably change the key um, <laughs> I don't really have an opinion on it one way or the other honestly so yeah if you think that would be good then good <laughs> not understanding how to do that.
then this can be. going to copy this first set of changes oopsie over there okay let's start to just get a sense of what this is going to be like
because the uh, harmony guitars don't hit on the one. <laughs> so we need the harmonic to land on the one every time. So yeah, that's cool. Sorry, I gotta stop this. Kind of want like medium there. Let's just see what this do. What this be like? secondary verb for the harmonics that will be like a shimmery shimmery situation a scooped sparkly space sounds pretty Oops. Okay, it's not actually what I want at all. <laughs> 
Yep. Um. And here. No frets to guide me. Play some t something tapping. Get that acoustic issue, hey, or get the two notes at once. Maybe I can. Go with the intonation up there.
Oh, reverb just makes everything better. I mean, that, that already just works to simplify. Just do that. Just this one. Okay. Flagellettes. I was talking about that. What's that? What's a flagellette? A zip. <laughs> Done, that's a flagellate. Okay, so okay, so then we're gonna everybody's gonna play in unison. Oh, the natural harmonics? Yeah, I see. or fifths. I don't usually harmonize like that, but that string scratching for like some soft background lo-fi texture. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So let's get these guys set up here. Da -da 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 -da. 
Duck a doom da. transition. Why is that so? Oh, I'm just like playing like way off the beat, that's why. <laughs> Man, this strum is late or something. This getting this, these percussions, these percussives, like let's just do a little test. Thank you. 
drop this out. Fingers, you can still the snare, yeah. Yeah, I agree, DJ. Okay, now maybe we should try like one of the different tones, maybe. Um.
generic sound. So, uh, a melody. I see the chords are way faster than I thought they were. Okay.
Yeah. So bend it. It's a bit tough. We're getting there.
is this? So. good when I get this melody, but it's a complicated melody.
from the top. Get some perspective here.
Yep, okay, happy with that. To you one sec there, DJ. duplicate like double that part played on a different tone like an acoustic tone Let's see I doubled it, uh, DJ, with a different tone, but I don't know if I like it. Try the uh, lo-fi tone. Okay, Chris, nice to have you here. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, Studio One Six arrives the 29th. What do I expect from this update? Well, I won't comment. I'll just say that. <laughs> um, I need to check a message, sorry. I don't like doing this on stream, but I'm told that I need to. Okay, let's try this with the with the uh, what's it called? Lo-fi tone. See how compressed the uh, guitar, the electric pickup is? Look at how thick those waveforms are.
got a cool idea. Let's let's have the uh, <clears throat> electric centered and then two lo fi's on the side doubling. these we're gonna do a oops a thingy Sounds pretty cool. But we'll keep it on the acoustic. No. Let's get the click in there. Sure about that DJ? That sounds kind of weird to me. That it would only be for sphere subscribers, maybe. Sounds kind of weird though.
What do you think about what goes here after these electric stop? acoustics Let's get that in there. Where was it supposed to go? Perfunctory.
this. I should name these tracks. Oh, this is this is the yeah. Right, let's get the whole thing going here.
we'll skip that part and we'll go on to the next one. Uh, a lot going on here though. It's outstrip ideas and improvisations outweigh anything put together. I hope you'll recreate the whole composition again. We'll make it happen. You get some more of that percussion. there in this part. Press the strings as they resonate in percussion mix. Press the strings as they resonate and add sounds. I don't know what you mean. So here we can add this bigger reverb and automate it. Hold the strings as in like what? Hold them like this, like this.
me like this. sound pretty good. Let's try it. Now for this, try and do a reverse. it should play with a click Oops. 
Kind of. strings. Thomas. Yeah, what a great day, thanks. Nice to have you stop by.
so we just <laughs> just do this. I would need to actually play those parts, not just pitch shift them, but it's pretty cool. Probably this will go back to the original key right here. Um, start the electric guitar coming in a bit early. Back with a tapping proposal. What kind of tapping do you mean? Because can this like... Thank you. 
Yeah, I mean, of course I know what tapping is. I, I grew up shredding. You know, all this stuff, but like, you mean... <laughs> Eddie Van Halen style tapping? Or do you mean like the acoustic style, like... That sort of deal. Should also refresh the page, DJ. I think you're you think you're a little bit behind. Tapping only with the left hand. This kind of thing? Or this kind of thing? <laughs> oh, exactly, I see. today. Um, I'll probably finish this next time. I'm going to hear one more time from the top.
Ooh, okay. I had one idea while that was going that I need to just try before we stop. Um, it was here. <laughs> And then, like, mimic that thing. Would it be? idea but it runs over the other melody Happy with it for now. Um, it's a lot of fun to do that. So, I don't know. I'll be back tomorrow, next day. Finish it. And yeah, and then try to learn how to play it all. Oh, that'll be something. Mm. There's never enough improvisation. Yeah, it's fun to play over that. It's got a lot of nice changes, um, switching from major to minor all the time. It's good for a backing track, if you know what's going on anyway. Well, thanks for being here, everybody. Thanks for all your help and suggestions. Um, yeah, I will be back soon enough. And if you don't know, there's a challenge going on right now, which everybody should participate in. If you're not in the Discord, if you're new here, by the way, you can say hello, you got your last chance here. And anyway, join the Discord and participate in the next weekly challenge, which is going on right now until next Sunday. I will be back on Sunday to make totally different kind of music. But in the meantime, I will be back sometime this week to finish this off, because yeah, a lot of fun. Great, okay, have a good day, everybody. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.